Hello, the LEC has just started, which means it is finally time again for some fantasy league. No, not fantasy football, but league, with your favorite players and teams. First, it is free. Is there an option to pay? Yes, but don't stop right here and listen till the end, why it is relevant or not irrelevant as much as you think. How do we gain different cards? Each day, as a lock-in reward, we get one random card. Second, after each game day, depending on how well we did, we get a number of packs as our rewards. Third, crafting. You can disenchant useless cards from teams which are no longer in the split, like team 9 and 10, or those who will go 0 and 10 in the regular season to gain materials to craft prime players to round up your lineups. And finally, buying packs. For free players, you sometimes gain coins as rewards, but as pay to win, you could throw in your weight and try to gain some cool cards here. But did I not say it's not really pay to win? Here's the crux. You have a maximum number of points to craft your team worth, which slowly increases game day by game day. The most expensive cards are Hans Summer and Dylan Falco at the moment for 7 points each in their legendary version. Without items, they can carry. At the moment, we just have 18 points, so even giving them items would be difficult. Take that, Wales. Hmm. I said Hans cost at the moment. Yes, players who do well with her will have their cost increased while players who do not so well, like being crushed by a Zack, might cost less points on the next game day. So now let us build our lineup for today. Winning teams have the higher probability to give more points. But in the end you can have a player who did well, but still lost and give you a lot of points. Let's check out today's game day and my guesses which team might win. For today, my favorites are G2, Vitality and Fnatic. As I can only play two members from each team, going full G2 fanboy is not possible. For G2 Yikes, who did best so far, followed by Hans, I have to take a look as I only have the basic card for Yikes, which means I could craft him or go with another player, like Wazog. So after one round of basic looking through what I own, I might end up with something like this. My player cards already use 14 of my 18 points. Now I can start rounding my roster out with items I own. I can use points on Mickey to gain an item where I gain points for every two assists he does. But these will already need 3 points of the 4 I only have left. There's even a card for pentakill to rule the game day if it happens. Now I have decked out my player's worst items and as you can see, 25. And I only may use 18. Which brings us back to our pay to win argument. While a whale might have more options to choose from, he cannot wrap himself in shiny legendary gear. As I'm trying to find my team, I end up with my full used points. But I still have one item slot left on my GX. And I don't have a raw blue version for him to play. So I'm now taking a look at zero cost items, which I may be able to craft and are more useful than those I already own. So in the end, there are two options I think I can choose from, and here is my lineup for today. I can only wait how the Thames will pick and ban, and hopefully bring honor to my team.